Hey, Worship Leader, welcome back to the channel. Look at all this stuff. What is all this for, Jimmy? Well, let me tell you. Today, I'm going to share with you my top Black Friday deals for Worship Leaders, along with some other things that are just really good to have. So let's get right into it. Number one, Jet Pedals has an amazing deal right now, 20% off store-wide everything. And not only that, if you spend over $300, you get a $50 gift card. If you spend over $400, you get a $100 gift card. So let me tell you what I would do. Here's my pedal board. Jimmy, did you uh, unplug your pedal board and bring it up here just so you could show it off? Yes, because I love this thing. If you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. As many videos of me building this thing over the years. But my favorite part is the Jet Revelation right here. My favorite reverb of all time. Love this thing. It's controlled via MIDI by the Jet MCX. They also have the Micro, which was my first jet pedal ever. What I would do if I were you with this amazing deal is I would buy the Jet Revelation if you don't have it, my favorite reverb like I said, then I would get one of the overdrives. I would probably just go with the Lion. I love the Lion. MIDI controlled, tons of presets, great overdrive. And then you would qualify for the $100 gift card to get $100 off the brand new Red Sea. If you don't know what this does, you can go check out the video that I made not long ago. It basically, you can run things in parallel and split them right here. So all dry, all wet, or between two different wet effects. A lot of different options with this thing. Basically, you'd be getting $100 off of that. If you use my link below, I'm an affiliate and it helps support this channel as well as giving you a deal. Number two, Sunday Keys right now has 25% off their entire website. Jimmy, what is Sunday Keys? Aren't you a guitar player? Yes, I am, but I'm also a worship leader in charge of many things on the worship team. And I like to set up my keys players for success. And what Sunday Keys offers is templates to amazing sounds that are easily accessible. And they've done it for years. And right now they have a brand new iPad version. Let me just show you quickly. I've already made a video, but let me find it. Boom, there it is. You can play piano. You have snapshots that'll be familiar to us Helix users. You can set up different songs, different parts of songs. It's really amazing. Go get it right now. I would because it's very fun to play with. I've even set it up in my studio down here for my kids to get used to different sounds, being able to play and just be creative. It's awesome. Plus it's 25% off. Did I say that? 25% off. So now is the best time to go check it out. And since we've got the iPad out, I might as well tell you that I just recently updated my digital worship planner for 2023. If you don't know what this is, it's an excellent resource for worship leaders. It's something I created for myself just to stay organized and be creative and get my thoughts down where I can like write but not lose a bunch of paper. It's got a calendar built in and it also has a bunch of different props, prompts, not props, prompts to like help you know exactly what you should be working on during the week like liturgy flow and writing down notes and checklist and how to pass to your people and lead your teams. It's all a really cool resource. Go check it out. Everything on my website, everything is 35% off through November, the Digital Worship Planner. Also, my Expanse Pack for all the Line 6 products and the Tone Match presets, 35% off right now. What else? Oh, I do ambient worship pads. Yes, beautiful ambient worship pads. Wanna hear what they sound like? Hold on. This one is Guitar Pad. Uh -huh. This one's Shimmer Pad. And Warm Pad. All good things, oh, plus, my biggest thing right now is I just released my first course ever, the Pod Go for Worship course. Go check it out. It is also 35% off right now. You don't want to miss it. I'm also going to be getting into uh, more course creation, so be on the lookout for that stuff. Okay, number four. Wait, no, not number four. Not yet. Did I mention you have to use the code Black Friday 35 to get 35% off the entire store? Uh, I also use my iPad along with Music Stand and Planning Center to uh, like look at chord charts and see the flow of the service during my rehearsals and stuff. And this is the uh, thing I use. Now this was not on sale, no sale for Black Friday, which all these links, you know, I'm not actually recording this on Friday, so there may be more sales. So continue to check the links below. I've linked everything below. Continue to check the links below to see if sales come up in the next few days. But um, this is the iClip. It's awesome, I've had it for a few years and it just doesn't break down. And I've seen a lot of people use this, so go check that out. Plus, when you want to write on your iPad and you're not uh, wanting to dish out a bunch of money for an actual Apple Pencil, uh, this is an alternative, inexpensive alternative right here. And I've linked this down below too. You can go check it out. Now, number four. 
I don't know if you do a lot of editing at your church or if you have to do any storage, but my favorite hard drives ever are these Samsung T7 hard drives. They are amazing because they are so fast. I actually edit straight off of these hard drives. I have an M1 Mac and I don't even edit off of it. I, I just end up editing off of these things. They're super small and like really thin and they're amazing and they're really cheap right now. Cheaper than I've ever seen them. You can get a terabyte of storage for Right now it's like $89.99 for this, which is just absurd because I think I paid like $164 for it a few years ago when I was first buying these things. They're coming down in price right now. It's on sale, so go check that out. All right, number five are in-ear monitors. Now, I love this time of year because I like to get extras just to leave at the church in case people forget them. The cheapest ones you can get right now, and I think there's a $2 sale as I was clicking these links, is the KZ ZSTs. Those are like 18 bucks. You can't hardly get much cheaper than that and they sound great. But I've actually been suggesting the next tier up which are the KZ ZSN Pros. They're like 23 or $28, a little bit more expensive but they sound, I think, a lot better. Enough to where I would spend the extra amount of money just to get those instead. Now, if you're wanting to go up a little higher than that, I'm a big fan of the AS10s. These are the ones I use on a regular basis, except I just had a video go out about a new set. Basin sent me, or Basin, I don't know how you say it. They sent me their B-Master quad drivers. And these things sound really good. The AS10s are like $60 and these were like $111, but they sound great. So depending on which budget ballpark you're in, there are a couple options for you. Now, of course, you can go much, much more expensive than that and get like 64 ears or Empire or Ultimate ears. And there's a bunch of different ones out there. But if you're looking to get the Amazon budget friendly uh, stuff, that's all I've ever done. And these sound great. The only downside is a lot of times their packaging doesn't come with a case or the case is really flimsy. And so I've been I bought this not that long ago. This is the Pelican. If you know anything about Pelican cases, they are like the, the top of the line cases. This is the Pelican 1010. It's small enough to put my in-ears in. And this one has like this little rubber thing in here. So I know they're always protected. I can throw it in my backpack. It even has this really loud clicky carabiner on it. But um, you can throw them in your backpack and not worry about your in-ears getting crushed. So been using that. I don't think it's on sale right now, but I just wanted to make you aware of those. And since we're talking about in-ears, we have a couple different options of budget in-ear monitor systems. The cheapest of them all, that is also stereo. These things are stereo. This is the Kima Fun right here. I've done a video on these things. They, they work pretty good. Um, what I love about them is that you can pan and it's just this there's this is the transmitter and receiver it's just real small you don't have to set up like an actual big transmitter and receiver on your um, like the pack that sits on you you don't have to set all that up it's just two little things you plug it into your system either your mixer or your personal mixer and you're you're wireless with very little effort love these things the only thing is the the TRS jack to make these things stereo made my voice, as I sang, have this weird stereo effect. So I didn't love these. The last time I used them though, there weren't as many dropouts as it was the first time I used them. So um, you have six different channels, you can use those. I made a video about it, you can check that out. The ones I've most recently reviewed are the X Vive U4. Now this thing is awesome. It's very well built, it's metal, got this nice clip. There were no dropouts as I've been using this, but the only downfall is it's not stereo. So X5, if you will make a stereo version of this, that would just solve all of our problems because us guitar players and keyboard players, we have beautiful stereo sounds that we want to hear. So please. I also have linked down below the Phoenix Pro PTM10, which is what I'm using right now at church. It has a transmitter, it has a receiver pack. I've been using it for almost two years now. It works flawlessly and I love it. The only thing is it's, it's a little plasticky and so, um, you know, it just is what it is. I want to be able to use this. Oh, and I just don't wanna to have to set up the, the transmitter all the time. I just want the little, little things like this. So anyways, whatever seems best to you, I linked all those down below, you can go check those out. Now for you guitar players who are wanting to monitor your mix with something other than in-ear monitors, I use the Sennheiser HD600s. They are right here and I believe they are on sale right now. Yeah, they're like 25% off right now, link below. Um, these are open back headphones which I really love because I can still hear through them and it, it doesn't have that bass build up or make me feel like I'm like secluded in something and I can actually hear my tone without it being super muffled, which helps with like the bass frequencies as you're dialing in tones. And if you're wanting to get out of headphones in general and want a pair of studio monitors, 
you can go crazy and get expensive stuff. I use the KRK Rocket 5s. I have the G2, um, the, the second generation, I think G4 right now, the fourth generation is what's the newest, and they always make slight improvements, but mine are great, so I'll link those down below as well. I also wanna mention this thing. Uh, New XFX sent me this a while ago. It's the Mighty Plug 2, the MP2. Um, this thing is great because it's like a, a little practice amp that's just wireless, it's just this thing. You just stick this in your guitar, you do have to plug your headphones into it, hold on. So if you have a nice expensive set of headphones or you have like a, a cheap pair of headphones like this, you just stick this in here, you stick this in your guitar and you can walk around and play wirelessly like around the yard if you want to. You can walk down the street and practice bass or guitar with a bunch of different effects and it's pretty cool. My son Judah loves this thing because he's not having to be tethered to anything and he can just practice how he wants and I think that is really cool. So if you're just looking to like practice parts and you don't wanna like hook up your Helix or your pedal board and you want a way to be able to practice while the baby's sleeping or something like that, this thing is a good option. It might be a good gift for someone on your team or in your family or something. It's the Mighty, what was it called? The Mighty Plug 2. Check that thing out. All right, another one I wanted to let you know about is Loop Community. They're having a 20% off their whole store as well, their downloads and their hardware. So if you don't know, Loop Community provides tracks. So we use Ableton. You can even use like their Prime app to help run Click, cues and tracks of real songs so that you can, you know, I usually use those in Ableton and I upload the tracks to Planning Center as practice tracks and my band can practice along with the click and cues. It's great, I've loved doing it and Loop Community has a bunch of resources. I actually got to meet Matt McCoy at the Worship Innovators Conference, which was a, which was a conference that he founded and I just love his whole vibe. It's called Loop Community because he really wants it to be community driven and it is community driven because the community can also upload tracks and share those with all of us. So you can go get credits right now. So I think you can get like 100 credits for $75 worth of credits because it's 25% off. They also sell like hardware, like the Looptimus MIDI controller. So you can hook it up to Ableton and, you know, press go and stop and repeat and next song and all that stuff. So you can go check that out. Now, the last thing is Yolo Box Pro is the live streaming thing that I've been using. It's the device that I've been using for the, my channel right here. It's right here. Looks like this. If you've been around the channel, you may have seen me go live with this a few times. I don't go live a lot because it's always clunky and I never had the gear, but I'm really loving this thing. And I like sharing it with y'all because I feel like it's a good option for churches who are just getting into live streaming and they want a all in one device. Like I don't, when I go to live stream, I don't have to hook up a computer to this. It live streams to my YouTube channel just from this tablet right here. And it has three HDMI out, a bunch of different ports. You can see the whole video I did on it. Now, this one's not on sale. <clears throat> Wrong, Jimmy, it actually is on sale. They just let me know last night that all their devices, I think, are $300 off, plus there's $50 off the YOLO cast live streaming thing. So now is the best time. Just click the link in the description, $300 off. Okay, back to the video. So if that's something at all that you are budgeting for right now, go click the link and check it out. All right, I believe that's it. Now I do wanna say, don't buy things you don't need. It's Black Friday and everybody's talking about shopping and there's deals and there's sales, but don't buy things you don't need. If this is something, if anything that I've talked about today is something that you've been thinking about needing, something you're saving up for, and now it's on sale, it's time to pull the trigger, then do that. And that goes for everything, even my product that are on sale. Don't buy things you don't need. There, I said it. Just be a good steward of the money God's given you. Be generous this time of year. And, and I also want to say to you guys, thank you so much for the community here at Hey Worship Leader. You guys are always so encouraging to me. You guys support me through this all. I love doing this YouTube channel and being a resource for you guys. So there's many more many much more of this coming. So make sure you're subscribed, like this video. I have some more giveaways coming around the corner because I wanna continue being generous to you guys and I love giving back to you all. So stick around. Oh, I forgot to mention, these aren't on sale, but I always like to tell you about these. I've been using these for like two years. The new X guitar system, the wireless guitar system. This one's the two point, well, this one's the 5.8 gig, 2.4 gig. I use these all the time. They come in a case that it charges itself and they always stay charged and I love having these. Don't buy things you don't need. But if you do need a wireless set, get these. These are amazing. Okay, I'm rambling. Goodbye. See you in the next video.